Hi, I'm Asna, and today I am going to be making ceviche. Now, when I was growing up, I would eat this, but back then it had conch in it, and I didn't refer to it as ceviche. I referred to it as conch salad, or like we would put different fish in there and, you know, just kind of mix it up, and it tasted so good. I still love eating it, although I'm raw now. I just do not add the fish anymore, but it still is good. I think with having Bohemian in my blood, I kind of crave spice and to kind of eat things that remind me of, you know, kind of food with the texture and the taste. Um, so it's just as good. It's just raw and it's very easy to make. It was easy to make before, but it's even easier now. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be adding today. Um, I have cucumber, cilantro, lemon, red onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, um, jalapeno, habanero pepper, I don't know if I said that, um, tomato, and garlic. And I don't know if I said lime, but lime as well. And at the end, I'm going to be using avocado to accompany my dish. So the first thing you do, if I have more time and I wasn't recording, I would be peeling my cucumber, which I already did ahead of time. So after you peel the cucumber, I usually take this and just slice the ends off. And then I cut. You want to cut around the seeds. And I can't say that I do that perfectly, but to me it's good enough just to come close to it. And I like love the way cucumber smell. It's just so cucumber. And I like the way it sounds too. Also, if you juice it, it also makes a good juice if you add it to carrot and apple. All right. Sorry, the battery is a little low there. So, once I finish cutting out the middle, this is what is left, okay? So I take this and I'm going to set this to the side. And then I begin to just slice up these four parts that I have left. Slippery. I want to take that, begin to dump that into my bowl. And I usually cut these pieces up small because I do like um, everything kind of neat with the ceviche. I can't say that with every dish, but I like, because I think I'm cutting up so much between the tomatoes and the cucumber and the onions. I just want to make sure everything fits nicely. It's like, even though I went raw, I still like dishes that kind of have that um, island spice to it, that Bahamian kind of seasoning. Growing up, my granddad, when he used to cook fish and stuff like that, it would be so hot. I mean, hot. And I think being that young and eating that all the time, you just develop a love for spicy food. So this is what I have so far with this. But you get the gist. I would cut this whole cucumber up usually. Cucumber up usually. So then I want to take my red bell pepper, which I've already cut and deseeded. And you would slice it into small pieces. Everything I'm cutting up, you can slice it into small pieces. But if you just want to hurry up and eat, big is just as fine. <laughs> Because you know like when you're hungry and stuff, you don't be like eating meat. I meant um, slicing it up meat. Just like when you're hungry, when you're in front of your friends, you be taking little pieces. When you're home by yourself, you're like throwing everything in your mouth. Same thing with preparing food. But do it a, di a little differently when you're by yourself. So the next thing I'm going to cut up is the green bell pepper. And I wish I would have deceded. I would have taken the seeds out of this bell pepper, but I didn't. So, 
cut this up into small pieces as well. And I would usually, I'm putting less than half of a half of the bell peppers. But if I was going to make me a big bowl of it, I would use half a red bell pepper, half a um, green bell pepper. I would use the whole cucumber. Not even one cucumber, I would use two of them. Now the jalapenos. Now, I've said this before. When it comes to spice, it's up to you. If you add the seeds, it's going to be spicier. If you don't add the seeds, it's going to be less spicy. So for me, I add the seeds, definitely. And you know the funny thing about jalapenos is, you can get one and eat it and add the seeds and everything, and it is not spicy. And then the next time, you're like, oh, jalapenos aren't that hot. And you go to eat another one, and it's like you can't even take the spice in it. I don't even know how to tell when jalapenos are ripe. So if anyone who's watching this video knows what specifically to look for, let me know, because I haven't figured it out yet. But I would like to know. So I'm going to add all the jalapenos. And I'm leaving just a little bit behind because I'm kind of rushing. And then I'm going to take the habanero pepper. Now this, definitely no seeds. Not now, not never. <laughs> I remember one time I tasted the hot sauce and, and it almost made me lick the wall. It was that hot. So I do like these peppers, but I do not do seeds from the habaneros. I just cannot. Me personally, that's not my thing. I like the idea of having a tongue that does not throb from pain or something being too hot. So with the habanero peppers, I'm not adding tons. I'm just adding just a little. You Maybe you want to do just half of a habanero pepper. So put that in there. And then garlic. I love garlic. So I have about three cloves I've already took out and peeled. I am going to cut those up. To me, um, three or more is always better. I know people want to say, oh, garlic smell. Let me tell you something. Garlic is so good for you and your body. Your teeth, everything, it's worth it. I probably would not go to work and... Well, I ain't going to say that because I would go to work and eat it there. I do that type of stuff. But it would not be for breakfast. Let's put it that way. Add in the garlic. Add in the garlic still. Okay, so now we're going to add the cilantro. And not tons of it, just a little bit. Maybe like what you would consider one tablespoon. Two tablespoons full. Just enough to know that it's there, but more of a hint of it. Last thing I'm going to add besides the lime is red pepper. Now, if you watched my videos before, you know I love, I said red pepper, I meant red onion. <laughs> If you watched my videos before, you know I love red onion. I could really eat it by itself. So, if you don't want it to really overpower your salad, I say about two tablespoons of red onion is enough. But me, I'm just going to do a little bit extra because... When I like something, it's worth it. I'm going to be a little extra. So now I did that, as you can see. 
I'm going to take my lines and cut them in half. So, so for some recipes, they're like, um, those onions got my eyes watering just a little bit. For some recipes, they're like add three limes and two to three limes or um, two tablespoons. And I always kind of do it by taste. So at the very least, I usually do use two limes at the very least. And then, ah, oh, I forgot to do to grate my ginger. But usually I would, I kind of just want it grated just a little bit. I'm going to just do it with this knife. Because ginger just adds a cool little spice to it. And ginger is also really good for your body. So you don't want tons of ginger, just kind of like a hint. Probably less than half a teaspoon of it. And then I add a little salt. Sometimes I do just measure out the salt, the salt because I like to get an idea of what I'm using. Sometimes we're just putting salt on stuff and it seems like a little bit, but sometimes you get it's easy to go overboard. So I have like one eighth teaspoon. I'll sprinkle that all over. Actually, I need just a little more than that. So sprinkle that over. Now I'm going to cut my avocado. Look how beautiful that avocado looks. I love avocados. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take these two avocado halves, put them on my plate, and then I'm gonna take and mix my ceviche, which is more like a cucumber, cucumber salad. I just want to taste it. Mm. That's hot as heck. But I still need a little more lime. Well, you do not have to put as much pepper as I put in here. Because once I put it over the avocado, it's kind of going to take some of the spice out of it. Because avocado has more of like a buttery type of flavor. So, if you want less spice, do not add the jalapenos or the habanero. Or add the jalapenos with no seeds. But this is how it comes out. Also, you can salt it according to your taste. Me personally... I do try and watch um, how much salt I'm putting into stuff, just because it's, it's kind of necessary to overdo it. And with my ceviche, I'm going to add my greens. Now, I get questions sometimes about where's the protein, and for me being raw, this is mostly my protein. I do eat nuts and stuff like that. But I definitely rely on greens. If you know anything about greens, they're like the bodybuilders. So the nutrients in them, they really do help to just nurture um, your body. Also keep you youthful, keep you strong. Anytime you eat greens and stuff like that, you're going to have more energy. So you know what I do when I have my greens. I usually put a little olive oil on here on them mix that in good oh. and I take some apple cider vinegar I do make my own salad dressing because what's the point of putting together a good salad and then ruining it with the processed salad dressing that has sugar and all different types of things in it I like to know what's in mine. In the brass, I just have a small, smaller spray bottle. So I then mix all that. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. So there you have it. 
There's my raw ceviche. Doesn't have fish, but it's just as good. You won't even miss it. And my greens. So thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.